Hello everybody and I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. Now, what are the signs that God Almighty probably wants you to move? You know, because I understand that at times you might be wondering, what should I do? Lord, where should I go? And indeed, if you look at the Bible, we cannot deny that there is a time where God wants his people or his person to move somewhere, you know, to relocate or to go somewhere to, to take an action. So... That is, and you can't deny that because in the Bible, as we already know, we have Abraham uh, as the first example. He was just called and it was even worse, you know, because in his case, he had to use absolute faith. He had never heard of God, no track record of whether God is faithful or not. So you see, this thing is, uh, it will test your faith at the end of the day. It will test your faith to see if you can trust him. And with us, I feel like it is easy because we already have a memorandum. We know what God has done. He has a track record. But with Abraham's case, that's why he is indeed, he deserved the name father of faith. Because he believed whereas there was nothing, nothing tangible that he could say, I am trusting or I'm not hallucinating. I'm not hearing voices which are, which do not exist. So first of all, you must understand how can you know? How can you be sure? Because sometimes I think I do see people who who stay at a place thinking God wants them to be there only to realize they are only remaining stagnant. And I assure you, you may pray that since God, your almighty, do what I want you to do while I'm here. Listen, the, the, it can't be done. He can if he wants, but it won't be ideal. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like if you're feeling hungry, and you can go to the kitchen, make something to eat. But instead of doing such, you be lazy enough and they be like, Lord, just make me full. Give me strength while I'm here. Like the way he built you, you're supposed to be strengthened and energized when you eat as a human being. So yes, you can make that prayer and he does it today. What about tomorrow? Are you going to live out of that? Come on, like now it uh, goes against how he has created nature. He made it for a purpose. Everything that you see. There must be day, night, and all. There must be time. He made sure that he stick to that, uh, what can I say? To that, is it schedule? I don't know which. I'm, 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 I'm not getting the term that I want, a proper English term. But he, the Lord created us to follow that order, to flow, that flow, for a reason. That is why the bottom line is, some things we will pray, they won't happen. And in the Bible... He made them to be there so that we can see that he can do it. That's why the Bible will tell you that, uh, was it, uh, I'm forgetting, was it, is it Joshua or Gideon who stopped, uh, but I think now it wasn't, I think it's Joshua who stopped the sun. Yeah, I think it was Joshua who stopped the sun from going down, if not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong by the names. So, but you know what I'm talking about. So that it's until they conquer and the day stopped. It only happened once. You got what I'm saying? So there are some things which you saw that he did. He went against his own nature. But I got to realize that it was also so that people can see that. Listen, you guys. I am almighty God. I created everything. I am not claiming to be good, to be what I'm not. So but don't take it for granted. Don't think that I'm gonna or else now there will be a disorder. You know what I mean? Just imagine for a moment. It does not make sense at all If we were all to pray That and God was to always perform miracles at any time Right now myself. I was gonna say that you know what, I want to do something before the day uh, the time uh, the sun goes down Lord, can you stop the sun from me? And someone else wants to do something else while it is night. Be like, Lord, this can only be done during the night. Lord, can you make sure you sp speed up time so that I can quickly do the this? You got what I'm saying? Now there will be a clutch because someone else is praying that it should go, the sun should go down. Someone else is praying that it, the, the, the sun should be uh, still. Someone else is praying that, Lord, can it rain right now? Someone is praying that, ah, oh, Lord, can there be sun? Yo, my things are, no, 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 no. Hey, yo, it, it, it's, it's uh, harvesting time. I want my seeds to grow. Can you bring rain? Someone else say, hey, no, it's too hot. You get what I'm saying? So that is why the Lord makes sure that he strictly he stick to that schedule. Except only for that instance where there is no way out. Not just for fun. 
he normally does them when he wants to fulfill something when he notices that you are in a corner so he has to do a miracle there is no way that you should die there there is no way that he can take you out of egypt and uh, only to get you killed he made sure that the only thing that was staying between uh it's almost like the israelite would do a start between a hard place a rock and a hard place behind them were the egyptians in front of them was the red sea so now what lord you are the ones who told us who led us here to show that he's almighty he is not confused he was like yeah i took you here i knew that i'll make a way therefore it means now it's either you go back or you have to go through this red sea don't worry i will part it but had they gone there whereas god showed them to take another path that would be on them you get how these things work so i mean i know that i made a long long intro it's felt like I mean, i'm talking about something else so now I want you to understand so that you don't question why God tells you to move. Why God tells you to stay where you should be and not go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I gave you that long intro. That there is a reason. And whatever it is that you're having faith that God can do where you are, it is not ideal according to God. You have to move. For Abraham, he also had to move. Ask yourself, why couldn't God do all those that while he was there? You get what I'm saying? So the Lord wants you to move. You will see when he create opportunities. You will realize that there will be an opportunity to relocate, to move. And somehow, somehow maybe you might not be too sure, but where you at, you will realize that the place is also not ideal. In fact, he will give you something that prompts you, makes you feel like, yeah, I think I should move. Unlike when you find that at the place you are at, maybe you are at work, for instance, you just got promoted, things are going well, you feel like move. Why should you move? So the bottom line is, if God wants you to move, a chance will be there. You will feel that I can take a transfer now. And I feel like maybe if I go there, like you will feel some an edge. And if you want you to stay, you will stay only when you realize that things are, are moving where you are. Whereas some people, they are scared to move, but where they are, they are stagnant. Only, they are only, some people, they stay only because originally they had thought that God is going to take them far where they are. So you, you, you feel like you are acting outside of faith if you move, although God is telling you to move. That's how some people, I think they confuse all these things. So they be scared to move because like yo but i pray that god should give me that uh ceo position and if now i move what if they give this post i uh, know let me show that i have faith and prove that i i still believe that god can do it now nah, you must have faith also listening to what god is saying if indeed god is quiet it's not telling you says like it's up to you there's a time where god will just say ask for whatever you want i will bless you in which whatever anything as long as it makes you happy i'm willing to do so that is when you stay you act in faith but if god already is saying is giving you a word that's when you act now you're acting in the will of god not your will you got what i'm saying there is your will and at a specific times your will can be fulfilled but there is a time where it is the will of god for you like jesus prayed if you're willing let this cup pass me but not my will, your will. Meaning, Jesus had this will at a time, and God had his will. And Jesus was like, okay, my will is for me not to go to the cross anymore, O oh Lord. I am nervous. Like, yo, this is... But what matters the most is what is your will, O oh Father? If you are willing, you feel like, yeah, you, you might... There's no need. We can just uh, skip this thing and quit, stop this thing. Then there wouldn't be a problem. That's why sometimes... You must pray for yourself, knowing that if there is something, you'll be like, Lord, if you're willing, let me stay here and work here. I would like to stay honestly, but your will, not my will. So God will be the one to direct the good. Hey, my child, you really have to move. You can't stay there. And God be like, ah, if you feel like staying, you can stay. I don't, that's how it works with God. Okay. So that's how you know that it is time to move. I just pray and hope this was helpful. For more questions, you can comment uh, below. I will answer you. May God bless you and see you in the next video upload.